Hey guys, it's about Mr. Lex. Big up to all the commentators, and we're doing a part two for this year Oscars commentary. Let's get it. So guys, we all know about the controversy surrounding the Oscars awards that created a division between blacks and whites. There was even a black Oscars award. The real Oscars were held in Hollywood last night. The All Deaf Movie Awards. Oh wow. Would you look at that? But one person that we could definitely come together on, despite what race we are from, was none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. And we all wanted him to win the Best Actor Award. And the Oscar goes to Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh! <laughs> Thank you to the Academy. Thank you to all of you in this room. I have to congratulate the other incredible nominees this year um, for their unbelievable performances. Uh, the Revenant was a product of the tireless efforts of an unbelievable cast and crew I, I got to work alongside. Now guys, this is his sixth Oscar nomination and he's only winning one now. I thought he would have won one in Titanic, but I guess he died in Titanic and survived in Revenant. So only survivors win Oscars. I mean. Now in other news guys, Stacey Dash was asked to come to the stage by Chris Rock to give a few words and if this wasn't the most confusing and awkward moment in the history of the Oscars, then I just don't know. <laughs> I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. Thank you. Chris Rock, of course, did a wonderful job on the hosting of the Oscars, so definitely a round of applause for that, bro. You did your thing, and of course, you definitely passed the message across for everybody to hear from your mouth yourself as a black man. But he also mentioned something about Ask Her More, and people were not, some people were not very fond of what he had to say. Another big thing tonight is you're not allowed, somebody told me this, you're not allowed to ask women what they're wearing anymore. It's a whole thing, you know, ask her more. You have to ask her more. Now, you know, it's like, you, you ask the men more. Hey, everything's not sexism. Everything's not racism. They ask the men more because the men are all wearing the same outfit, okay? First of all, to hell with modern day feminism. Logic will tell you that most guys are dressed pretty much the same way. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Oh, you're wearing a white tux? Oh, okay, that's wonderful. Hey, you're wearing a black tux? Oh, that's, that's a green tux? Oh, okay, that's a purple tux. Wonderful. The women tend to go a little extra. They do a little extra thing, so you got to ask them more about what they're wearing and all of that stuff. Stop trying to blow things out of proportion, guys. Don't be ridiculous. Anyways, guys, this is all I have for the part two of the Oscars commentary. So, guys, let me know what you think about the topics that I discussed in this here commentary. Anyways, guys, this is about Mr. Licks on the Mr. Licks commentary. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, of course, subscribe to the channel by clicking the link. I think it's over there. And of course, guys, um, let me know what you think about the whole video. If you like this video, please, you know, share it with your friends and family. And of course, this is about Mr. Licks on the Mr. Licks commentary. I will see you guys in the next commentary video.